Um, I'm very fortunate to be here with uh, Luke Terry, who's the guy that came up with the idea for Beacon Laundry and um, White Box. People have been asking me about the work that I do here, and Luke's the guy that came up with the idea, started the business, saw that there was a need in, um, in the Byron Bay area for commercial laundry. And um, so I'm going to hand it to him and ask him a little bit about how he came up with the idea. Hey Kurt, thanks for having me today. Yeah, so um, can you tell me a little bit about how this idea came together? Yeah, so ultimately we'd just done a previous project in Toowoomba um, about eight years called Vanguard Laundry. And someone, a, a local here, a guy called Richard Utrix, decided, he gave me a call one day and he says, I really like what you guys did in Toowoomba, could we do it in Byron? And I said, yeah, we'd love to, but we need millions of dollars, a block of land and an anchor contract. And this great local businessman and philanthropist said, well, I can probably help with the first bit of money and I hope you find some other people that can and we'll um, make a crack at it. And so that was about five years ago now, Kurt. Yeah. And so um, here we are and we wanted to create something in this community that was available for anyone that wanted a job and had a willingness to work and a willingness to maybe do something else one day. And we don't really require a resume or anything. We just want to provide people work and hours if they want work and hours. So you just saw the niche for the laundry in the, where was the laundry being done before? Somebody said it was as far north as Brisbane and as far south as, I don't know, where it was. Coffs Harbour and Logan. So Coffs Harbour is like in a truck two hours and Logan can be up to two hours in a truck as well. So we were like, how do we, how do we do this differently? And, um, the product's really, really good. It tells a really great story, and every dollar spent on the laundry goes back to supporting anyone that wants a job in the community. Yeah. So you employ people here that have never worked. I've met people here that have been, like, that they're in their 50s, they've never had a tax file number, and they've, they've got a shot at joining the workforce. Yeah, and, you know, you saw, you saw John today who lost everything in the floods in Malham. Um, his wife then passed away a year later. Uh, he shares his story publicly and then he was able to um, get a job here and now he's going off to run a pet store, which is amazing yeah, after, yeah. after nine months here. Um, we've got uh, Lee who's vision impaired and she's got her first job in her 50s ever. Um, and you know, we've got 86 people here that are kicking off their first job. I mean, you know, laundries are hard work and it's not for everyone. Um, but you know, there's lots of people, we've got a wait list of about 70 people that want to work here at the moment. And when we were start first kicking off this project, everyone said, you're not going to find the people that want to work. And boy, have we found the people that want to work. Yeah. Yeah. How do you find the work? I, I love working here, um, because I like throwing things around, but also no, I like it because if I. I could come in at an operator level and I can just hang up sheets, but then I'm quite process oriented, so I can, you know, get into the machines. I can start loading. I um, managing yeah. loads. It's like, oh, well, this this requires uh, chlorine. This requires peroxide, and I can be a little bit scientific about. It. So there's enough variety in it um, to keep me interested. And I'm curious, what what changes work made to your life? Well, um, now I have, like I have disposable income. I was living kind of pretty hand to mouth before. Like I was initially sleeping rough when I was up here. Um, I was I was sleeping. I mean, I've shown videos of that. And I got a property, but Warren Bay rental prices yeah. are um, shit. Uh, shit. <laughs> They're really hard. So it's really hard to get employment here. And um, so yeah, let's get in on the same shot. So yeah, what I. Uh, what I've found is like now I have money so that I'm not so reliant on the services that everybody's reliant on. You know, so I'm taking a burden off the social security system by, uh, by being able to work and it gives me a purpose better? and life has got better. Yeah. yeah. In a lot of ways. Yeah. It really fits in with what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm really happy to be here. And what I, about the people you work with? Yeah. I, I mean, people come from such eclectic backgrounds, you know, they're here for a, a new start or, um, They've, they've got some really mad stories. There are some, you know, really interesting people here that don't fit in to the conventional round holes. They're square pegs. And, um, and I enjoy working with those kind of people, I always have. And so my last question for you, and then you go back to ask me, but like, what do you think about this idea of a job for anyone that wants one? I think it's a fantastic idea. For anybody that wants to work, yeah, that's terrific. 
I mean, that's so empowering for people. Because it was a bit nutty for us to begin with, right? So yeah. it's like, how do you do more of this? Yeah. I mean, we've got to be a commercial business. We've got like 60 customers now, which is cool. Right. Um, but like we had three nine months ago. So it's like, and we have to, you know, we have to do the right things and all that sort of stuff. But it's, yeah. Yeah. Well, this is, these guys are great to work with and they, we are really killing the numbers. Well, you're you're great to work with too, right? So. Thanks. <laughs> no, I mean, I've been looking at the numbers statistically, like we're producing more laundry and you're trying to look at 60 tons by the end of the year per week. Yeah. Yeah. So it's expanding. So if you're interested and you're a, a hotel, small business that does that sort of thing, Maybe give us a call. A big shout out to the customers that are already using us in Byron, like, you know, some of the fancy hotels like Basque and Elements. And, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, a whole bunch of them, Sunseeker. Yeah, fantastic. All right. It's very nice of you to give me your time. I realize it. No worries. Is, uh, not always the most convenient time of day, but thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. Right.